It is April 3rd, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. Less than six months ago, Elon Musk paid $44 billion for Twitter, and people have been dunking on him ever since. He fired half the company, gave blue check marks to the peasants, and freed a bunch of people from Twitter jail. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. In some ways, it looks like Twitter is collapsing. It's now only worth $20 billion. Many users have moved to Mastodon. The New York Times just lost its blue check, and even LeBron James won't pay the five. So did Elon buy Twitter just to be the king and watch it burn? Or is he actually playing a game of 5D chess against the mainstream news media, like the Fox News and CNN channels that your grandparents watch? He's playing the long game to take their advertisers by making Twitter the future platform for all journalism. And if he plays his moves right, I predict he will become the richest man in the world, even richer than Elon Musk himself. Yesterday, he made a crazy move by open sourcing the code to Twitter's recommendation algorithm, and it's some of the most interesting code you'll ever see. In today's video, we'll dissect the code and explain why they want to make Twitter like the Linux of social media companies. Well, kind of. Although it is real production code at Twitter, it's not 100% of the code, so it's really only useful for research and transparency. The code base is mostly written in Scala, a JVM language that's kind of like Java, but concise and just way better. Twitter was originally written with Ruby on Rails, but they moved away from it over a decade ago. Everybody already kind of knows how these algorithms work, but it's extremely interesting to see the real deal implemented in code. Like this method, in the early bird tensorflow-based similarity engine.scala file, we have a bunch of ranking parameters, each with a default value. Retweets provide a 20x boost, while likes provide a 30x boost, and images and videos also provide a small boost. And not surprisingly, you also get a boost for being a paying Twitter Blue member. Like I said, the New York Times just lost its blue check mark, and now it's not verified, so it could just be a cap behind a screen. On the flip side, a tweet can get a debuff if the account has a lot of mutes, blocks, or spam reports. Also, spelling errors and made up words will give you a debuff. And there's also a long list of topics that won't be amplified, like anything that's been flagged as misinformation, harassment, putting bounties on people's heads, and many other no-nos. The platform also keeps close track of elections, and there's actually tools in place like this government requested class that allows President Camacho to keep you safe from bad content. But taking a step back, we can break the total algorithm into three parts. First, it finds a pool of 1,500 tweets that you might be interested in using a technique called candidate sourcing. It includes accounts you follow, but also out-of-network sources by clustering similar accounts together, allowing it to find relevant tweets from accounts that you don't follow yet. From there, it ranks that pool of tweets with a 48 million parameter neural network, and then finally, it filters out content by static rules, like accounts that you've blocked or muted. There's also a second repo called the Algorithm ML that contains the machine learning models used at Twitter. The project uses PyTorch, and they actually created their own in-house embeddings that contain over a billion nodes and hundreds hundreds of billions of edges. On the home feed, it uses something called the heavy ranker, but some people have criticized this for amplifying misinformation. The most controversial block of code, though, was this one here that keeps track of whether or not an author is a Democrat or Republican, or whether it's Elon or a power user. But apparently this code is only used for collecting metrics, but has already been removed. One thing that's not found in the source code, though, is its apparent juicing of VIP accounts, like AOC on the left and CatTurd on the right, which was reported by Platformer. The code is highly interesting, and I recommend you clone it and and check it out yourself. But why would Elon do this? Why would he release his trade secrets to the public? It kind of makes Twitter like the Linux of social media. The public can identify things that are unfair in the algorithm and address them in public. It's mostly a marketing move to build trust. It no longer feels like it's run by a mysterious cabal that can shadow ban and deboost content without some degree of transparency. And there's a huge opportunity here because the trust in mainstream media has fallen so low. Many people already use Twitter to consume the news, and although Twitter's currently losing money, they've talked about compensating content creators just like YouTube and other platforms do. When that happens, journalists could potentially make a living on Twitter and put their best content there. Elon knows Twitter Blue is never going to make Twitter any money, but rather it's designed to uplift independent creators while embarrassing the establishment. The blue checks are now irrelevant, and by open sourcing the code, Twitter is laying the groundwork to become the fair and balanced, most trusted name in news. And this may force other social media platforms to become more transparent, putting Elon's balls in Zuckerberg's court. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.